All right, it's time for our tribe talk. So where is Amy? Come on, Amy. Can we give Amy Grossman a hand as she comes down to share with us? Tribe talk time. You think you can do it in three minutes? I'm going to do my best. Oh. All right. Thanks. I wrote everything okay. down. Yeah. You ready? Yeah. Okay, go. Okay. Good morning, church. I wrote everything down because I can off-road really easy, so I know I have a short amount of time. Okay. God loves you. I want to tell you that this morning I was at my uh, Wednesday night pr uh, prayer excuse me, Bible study here last Wednesday, and someone asked me to do this tribe talk, and I was really nervous then, but um, I've already forgotten what I was going to say. Anyway, um, <laughs> I better stay on my notes. Okay, nothing can separate you from the love of God. That is Romans eight thirty nine. if anybody needs to go look at that. And it's good that you are here this morning because last Wednesday, here it is, here's the thought, God impressed upon my heart to tell you this. I was at my Bible study. Duh, here I am. Okay. And after Brant asked me to say, to do the tribe talk, I said, okay, Lord, what do you want me to say? Because it's a rare moment that I get a microphone in this church. Um, and so I wanted to make sure that I said what God wanted me to say. And so I think that's always important that we do that. Um, and so in my spirit... I heard, tell them I love them. And I don't know who you are today that needs to hear that, but God loves you. And if I may add, there is only one you. By design, no one can occupy the place that God has sent you to occupy. You have great worth to the world, your community, and this community. The special characteristics you have, the strengths that you have, are specific to you because the world needs who you are. You could have been born a thousand years ago, but you are here now. So I want to encourage you to stop living small. Sometimes life zigs when we think it should have zagged, and we fold. We fold into this place of smallness and safe and manageable. And if that's you today, please come find me because I just left that space. I mean, God really delivered me from some big, old, yucky stuff that's been hanging around for about 30 years. Jesus died to give us a lot of access to the good, abundant life. Too big for us to wrap our heads around sometimes. And we don't know how much time we have left. <laughs> So begin today, uh, wake up tomorrow, and, and through the day, remind yourself that God loves you, that he has a purpose and a plan for your life, and I pray that those plans and purposes do not pass you by, and that you live a life worthy of the death he died on the cross to give you. Be blessed, walk blessed, be intentional, um, and just remember, Romans 8, 39, God loves you, and nothing Nothing can separate you from that love.